Welcome back to Get Well. Sa mga previous episodes na feature ko na si Tijani Beth, Julie Jolie, Brad Pitt, Chris Evans, Morgan Freeman, and Channing Tatum. Solid lineup, no? Mas pasulit din pa natin dahil ang pinapang ko ngayon ay mga movies ni Liam Neeson. Let me look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Kung fan ka ni Liam Neeson at nagustuhan ng mga movies niya, Sako sa ito. And I hope you will enjoy my ranking. And please let me know your top 3 Liam Neeson movies in the comments section below. Let's start! For my top 12 is a 2020 action film, Honesty, with Pete Walsh and Blake Courtney aka Captain Boomerang of Suicide Squad. It is about a notorious buck robber called In-N-Out Bandit who decides to make a fresh start by returning all the money he stole in exchange for a reduced sentence. But two FBI agents set him up for murder and double cross him. If you're a fan of this genre, standard action flick, okay sa inyo ito. My top 11 is the 2011 Mr. Phil, Unknown, with Diane Kruger aka Helen of Troy. It is about a man who wakes up after a four-day coma only to discover that no one remembering him and that a new person has taken his identity. He teams up with a young woman to prove who he is. My top 10 is the 2019 sci-fi film, Men in Black International. Kasama niya naman dito si Rebecca Ferguson of The Greatest Showman, Chris Hemsworth, and Tessa Thompson of Thor Ragnarok. This is the fourth installment of Men in Black franchise and the first one to not feature Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones as the main characters. Ito pa din talaga yung mga naon ng MIT movies, pero pagdating sa visual effects and action scenes, hindi naman ito pa ulit. And for my top 9 is a 2010 and 2012 fantasy film, Clash of the Titans and Drop of the Titans. Kasama niyo naman dito si Sam Waltington ng Avatar as Perseus, Ralph Fiennes as Hades, Max Mikkelsen as Draco, Luke Evans as Apollo, Danny Aston as Poseidon, Edgar Ramirez as Ares, and Rosamund Pike as Andromeda. Alam ko na sabi ko na to, pero mahilig talaga ako sa mga mythologies, kaya plus points agad sa akin mga ganitong genre. Pero syempre, depende pa din. On this one, Perseus, a demigod, son of Zeus, take off to an adventure and battle stages of the underworld to stop them from conquering heaven and earth. My top 8 is a 2019 action film called Pursuit with Emmy Rossum of Shameless TV series. The plot is simple. A snowflow operator takes out a friend syndicate who murdered his son. It is not your typical Liam Neeson flick, but same Liam Neeson action style with a mix of dark comedy tone, bloods, and some brutal deaths. Nagustuhan ko din dito yung credit part. Very different, unique, nakakatuwa. My top 7 is a 2015 and another action film, Run All Night, with Ed Harris and Joel Kinnaman of Suicide Squad. A professional hitman, Jimmy Camden, or Tomo Limon as the Great Digger, has one night to figure out where his loyalty is like. With his estranged son Mike, whose life is in danger, or with his longtime best friend, mob boss Sean McGuire, who wants Mike to pay for the death of his own son. Great acting, interesting storyline with thrilling action scenes. Overall, enjoyable. My top 6 is a 2018 and again an action film. The Computer. Kasama na dito pareha si Vera Farmiga at Patrick Wilson, aka Mr. and Mrs. Warren, ng The Computing. Another typical Liam Neeson movie. Maybe you've seen it before but still entertaining. It's like it's another movie non-stop, but on a train instead of a plane. Liam here is an insurance agent slash ex-cop who takes the same train to and from work. Until one day, a mysterious stranger recruits him for a strange mission that soon evolves into fight for his life. And by playing his same old badass role, he did his job once again. For my top 5 is a 2014 and again and again an action film, Not Stop. Kasama niya dito si Julian Moore na kasama niya din sa 2009 film, Chloe. The movie follows Bill Marks, a former cop, dealing with the death of his daughter by drinking and is now a federal air marshal. 
One day, he receives a series of threatening text messages demanding $150 billion into an offshore account or someone will die every 20 minutes. Kung sa previous film na commuter sa train, dito sa airplane naman. Baka next action film niya sa boat naman or sa ship or something sa water. Anyway, like its title, Non-Stop, it's Non-Stop. Non-Stop thrills, actions, and suspense. Layo muna tayo sa mga old dinosaurs at mga action movies niya. Top 4 is the 2003 Christmas theme romantic comedy drama film, Love Actually. It features an ensemble cast starting with Andrew Lincoln of The Walking Dead, Thomas Brody Sangster of Queen's Gambit, Colin Firth of Kingsman, Martin Freeman of The Habit, Jimmy Bell and Before of Doctor Strange, Don Higgins and Toro of 300, Emma Thompson of Mary McPhee na kasama niya din sa Men in Black International. Alan Lickman of Harry Potter na kasama niya din sa movie ng Michael Collins. Hugh Grant of Brady Jones na kasama niya din sa The Big Man. Kira Knightley of Pirates of the Caribbean na kasama niya sa Star Wars. Laura Linney of Primal Fear na kasama niya din sa The Other Man. Bill Nye of Underworld na kasama niya sa Rat of the Titans. And Rowan Atkinson aka Mr. B. It's very studied talaga. The movie follows eight London couples dealing with their love lives and relationship in different ways. Kung nag-indu kayo sa mga ganito klaseng movie, star-studded and more than one storyline, try Dog Days, Valentine's Day, New Year's Eve, and 24 7 in Love. Dito sa last three, hindi ko na alam kung ang ilalagay ko sa top 1, 2, or 3. Maganda kasi lahat. Magkakaiba pa ng genre. Kaya ang hirap talaga i-compare to each other. So, top 3 is a 2005 superhero film, Batman Begins. Star studded din to, pero hindi na tulad ng previous film Love Actually na maraming storyline. Kasama niya dito si Cillian Murphy, Katie Holmes, Michael Caine, Gary Oldman, Morgan Freeman, and Christian Bale as Batman. Kung napansin nyo, hindi ko na sinama yung Dark Knight at Dark Knight Rises. Although kasama pa rin si Liam Neeson sa movie, pero maliit na ang role. Unlike here, siya yung main antagonist. Kaya din, ito yung napag-desisyon ng trailer isa na ang play. Kung isasama siguro yung buong franchise, baka mag-rank 1 or 2 pa to. For my top 2 is a 2008, 2012, and 2014 film series, Taken, where the old man Liam Neeson action film began. The OG of the full genre, which keeps you and your dog on the edge of your seats. Because it is about these sex traffickers who mess with the wrong father. They abducted a teenage daughter of an ex secret service agent. Without any information, Liam Neeson as Brian Lewis travels to Paris to find and save her daughter. Good luck. Kasama niya dito si Namagdris at Pumpy Jensen hanggang sa part 2 and 3. Pero ito ko na talaga yung pinakabates. So finally, for my top 1 is a 1993 drama slash war film, Schindler's List. With Ben Kingsley and Ralph Fiennes na kasama niya sa Rap the Titans. It tells the story of Nazi officer Oscar Schindler, a money-obsessed German industrialist who becomes an unlikely savior of Jews during the Holocaust. They secretly saved hundreds of his Jewish employees after witnessing the persecution of Jews in Poland during World War II. Noon na, ayaw ko pa panoorin ko eh. Pag kasi pinanood mo yung trailer, ang gara, black and white, luma, ang magpot, pero naintriga kasi ako. Every time nakakita ko mga best movies of all time, laging kasama to. So, one time, pinanood ko na. And grabe, ang ganda nga. Hindi ako magsisisi maglaan ng 3 hours. Ngayon, hindi ko nga na malaya na naka 3 hours na pala yung movie. It is a 3 hour film that feels too short. Pero kung ikaw yung tipo ng hey, Hades action, madali pa boring, baka umpisa pa lang makatulog ka na agad. But kahit ganon, try to give it a shot. This is an eye-opener. Perfect on every level. From the acting, to the script, to the cinematography, para ang ka talaga that time. Liam Neeson's final scene here is an all-timer. Just like the movie itself. And that's it, my top 12 Liam Neeson movies. Again, this is based on my own opinion, my own perspective, and my own point of view. If I miss your favorite Liam Neeson movies, let me know in the comments below. 
And I hope makatulong ako sa mga nagharap ng mapapanood, sa mga nag-movie trip, sa mga nag-movie marathon dyan, sa mga nagharap ng iba pang movies ni Liam Neeson na pwede panoorin. And sana help nyo rin ako by suggesting other movies niya kung may hindi ako napanood or any other movies na similar sa mga top. If na gusto kayong mag-feature ng mga celebrities and mga movies niya, comment nyo lang din. So until next time, thank you, God bless.